Welcome to your better public speaking mindful meditation. It is so important to take a few moments out of each day to relax for a few minutes. Meditating can help you focus and keep your brain young. Indeed, meditating can help you to become a better decision maker. It can reverse the effects of the stress response and meditating can improve your focus and attention, which can be so important for public speaking. So let's get started. Please make yourself nice and comfortable. It's not vital that you remain completely still, just that your body and mind are relaxed and comfortable at all times. Now I'd like you to take three long, slow, deep breaths in and out. And on the third breath, please close your eyes and keep them closed. With your eyes closed, you can start to relax even deeper. You can forget about the outside world for a short time. This is your time to completely let go and relax. In fact, you will find that after you have experienced this feeling of total relaxation today, relaxing your body and calming your mind is something that comes very naturally to you. I want you to begin to relax every part of your body Relax every part of your body that you can think of. Start with the top of your head and work your way down your entire body until every inch of you, every cell, is relaxed and calm. Imagine a wave of relaxation passing through your body. A wave of relaxation, calmness and warmth moving from the very top of your head to the tips of your toes and relaxing everything in between. Imagine a ball of yellow light, like a tiny little sun, small but with all the warmth and power the sun possesses. This yellow ball is going to help you to relax every part of your body that it passes filling it with warmth and comfort. So imagine this little yellow ball hovering above the top of your head. Maybe you can already feel the top of your head starting to relax. It slowly moves down your face, near you, but never touching you. Your eyes sense its brightness even through your closed lids. Your nose may be able to detect the change in temperature as it passes. Its light and warmth bounce off of your cheeks and dance around your mouth. You may wish to part your lips and loosen your jaw, allowing your tongue to rest gently in the bottom of your mouth. Steadily, it passes down your neck, across your shoulders, relaxing everything it passes. That yellow ball travels down each of your arms, each of your wrists, right down to each and every one of your fingers. Your arms may feel a little heavier than usual as they relax completely, and this is perfectly normal. That warm yellow light passes your chest and, as it does, you find your slow and steady breathing is effortless and deeply calming. Imagine it now passing your chest. All the muscles of your chest are coming to its relaxing, calming and peaceful properties. Near you, but never touching you. 
passing your back now. Every muscle in your back, large and small, becoming limp and relaxed. Now passing your waist, your hips and your thighs, dispersing warm, relaxing, calming light to every cell of your body. That little yellow ball of light and warmth is steadily making its journey towards the tips of your toes, passing each of your legs, relaxing your knees, your shins and your calves, edging towards each ankle, each foot and each individual toe. By the time that small yet potent yellow light has reached the tips of your toes, your entire body, even the tiniest hairs on your body, will be completely relaxed and calm. And now that you're resting so quietly, I'm going to help you to relax even deeper. I'm going to help you to relax down and down to the deepest level of total relaxation that it's possible for you to experience at this time. Now allow the image of a beautiful garden, a stunning outside space to start to form in your mind. You quickly cast your eyes around this breathtaking garden and soon assess that you are completely alone the realisation that you are solitary in this beautiful place excites your mind and further relaxes your body. You can take your time to enjoy this garden for a few moments now. As you wander further into the garden, the grass feels like a luxurious green carpet under your feet, massaging your toes with each relaxing and refreshing step that you take. Here is a gentle breeze in the air. Not enough to disturb you, but enough to diffuse the sweet and intoxicating fragrance of the flowers all around you. Birds sing for you from where they perch happily and carefree in the trees. Their melodies entice you further into the centre of the garden. The perfect position for you to see and absorb all of the natural charm and beauty of this place that appears untouched by anything as fallible as human beings. Yet so well kept and cared for at the same time. From the centre of the garden you notice it is quite circular in shape. Tall fir trees mark out and protect its boundaries like a leafy circle of comfort and protection, sealing off the outside world where worries and concerns can exist. From this advantage point, you can fully appreciate the subtle shades of green and brown and the playful splashes of colour from wildflowers that look like a careless child has run through the garden, haphazardly carrying a box of oil paints and splashing red, yellow, blue and purple wherever they pass. The sun gently warms your face and shoulders as you become more and more relaxed and peacefully calm. Feeling so deeply relaxed and calm, safe and untroubled in your new surroundings, you close your eyes, allowing yourself to feel this magical garden rather than see it for a moment. You find the darkness surrounding you strangely comforting and, in the absence of a visual stimulus, your mind unwinds, wanders and explores even further. 
Without a focus for your thoughts and a direction for your body, you start to feel very light, unshackled, as though every worry and concern has been lifted from your shoulders. You find this light, floating feeling enjoyable. It's as if every ounce of weight has fallen from you and you can float and glide wherever you want to, whenever you need to. So just allow yourself to drift deeper with each word that I say. My voice now speaks to you about a very personal situation and matter of great importance to you. Each of my words are like tiny new seeds being planted into your subconscious mind. For a while they may lie dormant. However, given the right conditions, covered lightly with soil, watered and nurtured, they will take root and they will grow. That little tiny seed may grow into a fresh green shoot, a brightly coloured flower, maybe even a tall, wise tree. His potential is unlimited, but one thing is for certain, that seed will grow and change and become stronger and stronger every day. Now I want you to project your mind into the future. Project it forward to the day of your presentation or interview. Imagine the day that you have been asked to speak in public, to address a selected group of people or be interviewed for a new position has arrived. You're feeling good. You're feeling relaxed, calm and confident much like the way you are feeling now. You have prepared thoroughly for this important day. You have researched, rehearsed and polished what you're going to say. You are an expert in this field. You know your subject matter so well and that's why you've been asked to stand up in front of these people and give a presentation. You feel like you have had a great night's sleep and are eager to get on with today's talk. You realise that the people who are coming to listen to you or interview you today really want to be there and really want to hear your opinions, views and thoughts on this matter. You also know that you have done the hard work. You have prepared and practised, and because you have done all of the hard work, success is guaranteed. You deserve the recognition and praise for your hard work, and today you are going to get it. You are feeling relaxed, calm and confident. Whether this is your first attempt at public speaking or your first interview, or you have struggled through this task many times in the past, you are looking forward to your big moment. Today is your time to show everybody exactly what you are capable of. Your opportunity to shine, to communicate and pass your knowledge and passion on. Anybody could stand and read out the presentation you have written and designed, but only you can deliver it with the enthusiasm, personality and commitment it deserves. And who knows what world of opportunities will be opened up for you once you have successfully given this presentation. You are feeling good you are feeling relaxed, calm and confident. You have studied and learned your subject. 
The more you found out about this fascinating topic, the more absorbed and keen to find out more you became. And that's how your audience will feel. Absorbed and keen to hear what you have to say next. You do not need to worry unnecessarily about questions that may be posed. As you are the expert, you know your subject inside out. Questions are a positive thing. They show that people are listening and are interested to find out more. You have researched thoroughly and have many fascinating examples and facts stored away as a reserve in your subconscious mind. You are excited with just the appropriate amount of anticipation. You are looking forward to the moment when you can stand proudly and share all your understanding and perspective about this topic with your audience. You are feeling relaxed, calm and confident. You have already selected the outfit you're going to wear and you know that you look smart and confident in it. You look like a person who regularly addresses the public free from any worry or concern. Someone who comfortably speaks in public and does a really good job of it. You have rehearsed your presentation repeatedly. Maybe you have even presented it to friends or family so as to gain confidence and feedback. Your speech now flows naturally and coherently. You are feeling relaxed, calm and confident. Now project your mind into the future again. Picture yourself standing in front of your audience about to deliver your interesting and engaging talk. This is what you have worked for and you are really looking forward to connecting with the group and transferring information in a dynamic and professional way. You see open friendliness in the faces of the people in front of you and an eagerness to hear what you have to say. You are poised and in control and feeling just great. You greet the group or interview panel warmly, smiling with both your mouth and your eyes. This is your time to shine. Your time to communicate with these curious and open-minded people exactly what you know and have been working on. You talk to your audience in a natural, easy way. Your body language is open and friendly and you become aware of how powerful your voice sounds. You are projecting your voice to the back of the room. But it's more than that. Your words are perfectly chosen by your subconscious mind with little prompting or intervention from you. Your words flow as you impart the information in the way you have prepared and rehearsed. You maintain eye contact with people in your audience, not just with one person. You feel as though every one of these people matter. You come across as witty and charming knowledgeable and approachable. You are happy to be there and your audience responds to that positivity. You are starting to realise that it is possible, even easy for you, to feel good whilst speaking in public. You are amazed and delighted by just how easily you are becoming an effective speaker. At any time before or during your presentation, you will be experiencing emotions. Emotions are a positive thing. They are an important element of being human. 
However, emotions are not always enjoyable and don't always feel under your control, especially if they prevent you from expressing yourself in an open, clear, logical way. There may have been times in the past when you experienced difficulty communicating easily in a group situation. But now that you are becoming a competent speaker, you understand that the feeling you were experiencing was likely to be simple adrenaline. Your body's own ample and natural energy, which makes itself available for your use at the times it feels you may need it. All you need to do is accept harness and control that adrenaline rather than fear it. Use it to help accomplish any goal or challenge you set yourself. Controlled adrenaline is your body's own tool there for you to use. It can keep you sharp and alert. You can direct and channel it into enthusiasm and vitality. As a good public speaker, you can allow it to fuel you in the right direction at the right time, enabling you to be focused, precise, quick-witted and effective. Your thoughts are clear and well-organised and that tamed adrenaline assists you in delivering your wonderful presentation. Your speech is coming to an end now, which both delights and disappoints you at the same time. But you will have the opportunity to invite members of the audience or interview panel to ask questions. So continue to enjoy this time your special moment, just for a little longer. You welcome these questions and see them as a true expression of the group's interest and desire to find out more. They trust you to guide them. You rephrase any question to make sure you've understood it correctly. Then you answer the questions, expanding where necessary drawing upon your unconscious knowledge as well as the conscious knowledge at hand. At the end of your talk or interview, you thank everyone for listening to you. Time has passed so quickly and you have enjoyed yourself and judging by the look on their faces, so have your audience. You are feeling proud You are feeling relaxed, calm and confident, much like the way you are feeling now. Now, when you go through this event in reality, you will experience it just the way you have today. Relaxed and calm, confident and positive, and thoroughly enjoying yourself. To ensure your success, Between now and the date of your public speaking event or interview, you will find your unconscious mind revisiting today's meditation session, maybe even adding new parts or enhancing existing ones. You may find yourself dreaming about that important day, and that's fine. In fact, you are happy to dream about public speaking or interviews, as it's your mind's way of rehearsing and practising. Making public speaking and interviews feel natural and easy for you. Now it is nearly time to return to a fully alert and wakeful state. All suggestions that have been given to you today will remain and stay with you. They will grow stronger from day to day and continue to have a real and lasting effect 
on the way you present yourself and your topic when speaking in public or during interviews. So take a moment to thank your mind for the good work it has done today. In a moment, I'm going to count up from one to five. And as you hear each ascending number, you will become more and more awake, gradually returning to a bright, positive and fully alert state of mind. One, two, three, four and five. Wide awake and feeling great. Great. 